Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode of Farming Sim 17. Hope you guys are having a good one today. My day is going pretty darn well, enjoying the farming simulator world, and uh, totally forgot that I didn't uh, harvest this field last time. Uh, but yeah, that has been going. I've got that uh, on the move, and I've also did a couple more missions i've i've been sticking to the really big fields when i do missions so i decided that like field 24 field 16 they're not really worth it uh to do missions so i drive up to field 5 20 uh i'll drive down to 26 26 is really big and i try to get as much profit out of these uh, missions as i can uh because it's just not worth it not to you know what i mean so uh super excited the Harvester is almost done over here. Um, I let this one go, this field go for quite a while, so it's like on its last, last, last leg for harvesting. Uh, excuse me. No. You're going to line up correctly. And you're going to harvest this whole area. There you go. Sometimes you just got to give them a little adjustment. You know, just just a just a little adjustment. But yeah, that is being taken care of. This one's being taken care of. I, I do think that we should look into uh, picking up a new field today. And I was kind of considering field 26. Uh, because it's so big, I think it could be pretty beneficial for us. There's also a field 24 I think might be good, uh, depending on the prices of these two. Uh, but if we did this one, we could actually harvest it right now. Well, let's see. Uh, purchase field. It's $400,000. Holy cow. Um, yeah, see, this one we can get about 20000 And then with the time bonus, we can also get quite a bit more. So we could, we could do that. Um, I don't know that I necessarily want to. Uh, someone is blocked. There we go. No, you're good. You don't. You don't need to be hired anymore. Let's go ahead and dismiss. And we can deposit our harvest into this. But yeah, 400,000 credits, uh, dollars for this next field is kind of a lot. Um, and there's probably other things that I'd like to go and pick up and try out as well as far as equipment is concerned. So I think that we'll probably hold off. I don't know. I'm kind of waiting for... Uh, another like large demand to go through. We haven't seen one in a little while, uh, so I definitely am pretty excited to see that happen. And then you know, hopefully, it's on something that we have a lot of. If we go ahead and take a look here, we have a ton of soybeans, just a ton of soybeans. And uh, Maplefield Mill is probably the best place to sell right now. Uh, definitely, you know, high high end stuff there. Um, I still, I, I've been on such slow uh, graces, uh, slow paces, not graces, paces, uh, with the timing that our um, our sheep are still, you know, not doing all that great. But there's also, we need to get something that has the sheep cleaned. Uh, that is something else that is necessary, and I'm going to go over and pick up our pallet fork. So yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna check out a couple of pieces of equipment today, and I think a couple of them are going to be um, maybe the uh, a trailer of some sort, and maybe a bobcat or something. I'm not sure uh, what we want to pick up. All right, so this field was taken care of nicely. Uh, let's go ahead and check out uh, what we can pick up from the store. So I think we are going to pick up a skid steer. We're going to pick up a, the relatively cheaper one. Um, again, another item that I should not have sold. Uh, and then we'll pick up a pallet fork as well. Okay. And then we're also going to need a trailer of some sort. Now, I don't think there's anything through there that we can pick up. Uh, the levelers, let me change the silos and level heaps and in, in the silos. Okay. Um, let's see. Trailers can transport other vehicles. Dolly is what we'll need for that because we don't have any, like, major trucks right now. Uh, cars, yeah, it doesn't look good. So, yeah, let's go ahead and pick up the dolly. Uh, wide tire standard. Yeah, we'll stick the standard there. 
Uh, and we will, from there, we will pick up a low loader. And I'll go with the cheap one. I don't see any reason uh, to get the big one. And we'll get our green on that one. All right. So now we can fetch our purchases at the store. We, we paid quite a bit, like $76,000 for all that stuff. But it's not too bad, um, especially for, you know, what it's going to help us out with. We'll be able to move tractors and stuff around. Uh, we'll be able to move other equipment around and stuff like that. It should work out relatively well. So yeah, we're going to head over to the store and check out what we got. And to the store we have arrived. All right, so we are going to need a couple of things here. Let's go ahead and I don't think that I'm going to be able to, to hook up to this guy uh, with just this. You know, maybe he's got a fifth wheel attachment in it, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, and again, we're going to have to deal with one of these weird things um, with the crazy long extension. Now, let's go ahead and we can maybe get this guy to turn right. There you go. Uh, no, no, no. Too far, too far. It's... um. It's a little on the tricky side, not going to lie. A little on the tricky side. There you go. Keep going. And attach. And we're, we're good. We, we have the technology. Uh, so, yeah, we can go ahead and unload this. Or unfold this. And then from there we can hit G. And we can... What does this do? Okay, that's still my my trunk. All right. Uh, yeah, nothing really else we can do with that. Now, the truck might not be the best tool for this anymore. Uh, the truck might be having a little bit of problems. So if I were to pick up a, a truck, uh, we'd need 124,000 credits, uh, dollars. I've been playing so many different games with with so many different currency values. I've been saying credits like all the time. So that might not be bad to pick up soon. Semi trailers, yeah. We we might do that. I, I'm just not 100% sold. I'm just not 100% sold. So let's go ahead, get in our little skid steer. And we definitely want to go ahead and hook up to this little guy. Awesome. Okay, and then we should have a pallet over here. And then we can just drop that down. Kind of go in like that. Oh, still a little bit in the way. Oh, we get it. We'll get it. Okay, and then we'll just lift it up ever so slightly. Tilt it back. All right, and now... We'll go ahead and we'll get this on the trailer. Okay. And I probably want to lift that up just a little bit more, tilt it back a little bit more. And as much as I would love to try and do this in this other mode, I am going to go ahead and uh, switch back. Okay, so now we can go ahead and just tilt that downward. Okay, so now hopefully driving in reverse. Come on. You got this. There you go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so now we'll pick up this other pallet. And, oh, this one's kind of, like, weird. Um, why is it, like, all jittery? You see that? Um. Uh, <laughs> guys? Um. Whoa. Whoa. What what it what is going on with this one? Do you, you see that right? Okay, all right. Let's try again. Let's uh let's try and get lined up as best we can. Okay, just keep going here. Tilt 
tilt it down. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I think we're good. All right, come on. Get out of there. It's definitely in the ground. Like, there's nothing I can do about that. It is like 100% in the ground. Come on. Get out of the ground. Come to your people. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's um <laughs> And up up and away. <laughs> What is happening? I don't understand. This is just... This is like the worst... This is like the worst thing that could possibly be happening in this moment. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's just try and get un, un, unattached from this thing. There we go. Alright. Alright, all our problems are not necessarily fixed, but better. All right, and we're just gonna park this guy right over here. That way, if we ever need to load up more pallets or anything, we can easily do so. And then we should be able to come over to this. Now, can I like load this thing up pre getting in the truck? Probably not. All right, let's go ahead and switch to controls. Let's fold her up. And we're gonna, we're gonna head on back to the farm. At a whopping 20 miles an hour. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to need to pick up the big truck. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, we can buy the lizard. Here, lizard, lizard, lizard. A wheel, wide tires, attachers, back attacher. I don't know what a back attacher is. Um, I'm going to buy it with the back attacher. I don't, I don't entirely know what that is. Uh, so we can... Hopefully get whipped back around to that. Back attacher. Again, not 100% certain. But yeah, I love the green on this truck, man. It's really good. All right, so we'll go ahead. We'll get into... Nope. Uh, I want to get into this truck. Okay. And we can go here. Unattach. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Reattach, unattach this one, and what I'll do is I'll keep this, well, go. <laughs> oh, everything's going so well for us. It's, it's just everything is going swimmingly. I have to say that, you know, we, we could not be having a better day in farm sip let's get this thing i'm gonna park it back over here uh you know what i'll probably just sell it i don't know that there's any reason for us to have that especially if we just bought that truck we, we shouldn't have to worry about it all that much so let's get out here and sell there we go sell good stuff and we should be able to go ahead and hook up this guy. Right like so. Attached. And we now have the power. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to head back to the farm. And we should be good to go. Wide turns, wide turns. Oh, man. Oh, we're cruising now. All right, so we can go ahead and unload our haul for the day. It's not a lot, but hey, it's something. We got it back over here. Oh, wait, did the not go all the way down? Oh, no, attach. There you go. Unfold it all the way. Good stuff. All right. And then we can grab this tractor. We don't need the... Um, 
You know, I guess I could have put the, uh, the skid steer back on there. But we didn't really need it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and lift that up and probably just put it forward a little bit. Okay. Want to get centered on that trailer nicely. And this thing's got quite a bit more reach than what the uh, other one had, so should go fairly well. All right, what's the problem here? All right, so it looks like we're a little off center. There we go. Okay. Just tilt that puppy up. Lift it up. All right, and then we can go ahead and just put this right over here. Just kind of lower that back down. No, come on. Get off the pallet. No, I said get off the pallet. Stop. There we go. All right. And then I'll just lift that up a little bit. We'll just push it to the back. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. So I wonder, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious what uh, what size of vehicles, you know, we could actually park on this thing. I wonder if the um, the, the harvester over there will allow me to to drive it onto this thing. Because this, this thing has got a wide berth. And so I'd be curious if you can actually, you know, get this from where it needs to go uh, to where it needs to be. So I'm going to try this real quick. Uh, if I'm in first person mode, there's no way that I'm doing this. So we're going to go ahead and stay where we're at. And I'm going to try and back it on here. Okay. Okay. Uh, not a good sign. Not a good <laughs> sign at all. Um, okay, not not a good sign when the combine is bigger than the trailer. All right, let's try it from the front. I don't think it's going to work, but we're going to try it. All right, all right. So get us lined up. All right, yep, we're good. Oh, no, we're not good. We're not good. Abandoned ship. All right, so I made my way over to the sheep, and I wanted to go ahead and take a look around here. Um, now, it says that these guys need a clean feeding area, and we can go ahead and take a look here. Our cleanliness is down to 66%. I'm not entirely sure what that is. So what I did was I placed this guy so we can toggle that thing on. And I think I could come over here. Uh, the pressure hose to restrict you from going any further. Can I uh, spray these little guys like area off? Are you happy? Does that do anything? <laughs> it's not doing anything. All right. Well, I bought this thing for absolutely no reason, apparently. Uh, let's see. Do you need to be cleaned? Hmm? How about our truck? So truck look like it need to be clean over there? No. All right. So, uh, what what else would a clean feeding area consist of? Um, chainsaw? No, probably not. All right. So let's take a look here. Animals. If we go ahead and look, um, take straw. Okay, and that's a compactor. So there's there's some things there. I'm not sure what else you would use to keep these guys clean. I That is what I'm a little bit confused on. But we are getting some wool. You can see it in there. Getting that taken care of. So that's pretty cool. Open dialogue. We can buy some more. Yeah, there is a delivery fee. I think I'm going to buy, like, another 10. No, I can't do that. Never mind. Cancel. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure what I would need to do to keep those guys clean. That's, um, that's an interesting one. All right, so after doing just a little bit of research online, I found out 
that uh, you have to have a bobcat, basically. And what you got to do is you come over here to the uh, side with the food. And you take the appropriate tool, which I assume is this. And you're going to slowly pick all this up. Kind of like this. Okay. Uh, actually, go forward again. All right, and hit the reverse. And we're just going to raise it up and we're going to dump it back out. There you go. And that will help with the cleanliness. Oh, we're at zero? Why are we at zero? Oh, update. Uh, let's speed up time here real quick. Come on, you jerk. Update. Yeah, there you go. Cleanliness 100%. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you take care of the sheep fully. So we got water over here. We've got um, all kinds of other stuff over here. I think I'm going to go ahead and just park this bobcat here. And uh, since it, you know, it'll be made for, or used for the sheep, it's definitely the correct tool for the job. We'll just go ahead and leave this over here and we'll jump back to our farm, which we can go ahead and start harvesting again. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Farm Sim 17. If you did, please hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.